Hello everybody and welcome. Thank you for joining me for another episode of Arkin, a fun retro inspired Zelda like game. This is the demo which is available on itch.io. We have went through the first dungeon in the last episode and we're going to head into the second dungeon here in just a minute. It's just south of us. But I found this n nice little cave here and I'm interested so we're gonna go check out the cave i've been quite impressed with this game so far it has a lot of interesting features to it these little bats i like how the bats are kind of wrapped up as they as if they are sleeping almost on i would almost kind of want to put them upside down because it would make it look like they're sleeping on the ceiling or maybe put a shadow underneath them so it looks like they're sleeping on the ceiling that would be kind of cool but considering there is no ceiling really in this game that would be all right i understand that but yeah we're having a lot of fun playing this game it's very interesting and i'm finding out as i play more of these that i really enjoy zelda like games especially these older zelda games i have played I was thinking of this yesterday. I have played six Zelda games, I believe. And one of the interesting things is I've noticed that, and I kind of thought about it, is that the game that I think kind of turned me off from Zelda would be Ocarina of Time. Now, while that in and of itself is not a bad game, I really was disappointed in all the hand holding in that game as a peer whoa okay i can't can i maybe oh okay i can push them i was like i was so expecting to be able to blow them up it really kind of messed with my mind that i couldn't and uh so it took me a minute to figure that out so while Ocar i think ocarina time is a good game in and of itself one of the frustrating things about that that really put me off is the hand holding that was in that compared to the previous games the previous games had a lot less hand holding in them and there was a lot of that in terms of ocarina of time and while i would have naturally explored i believe the later games on my own i have heard that they are just as bad as ocarina of time or maybe worse yeah i just don't really like that i picked up breath of the wild i think i mentioned in the last episode i'm really impressed with exactly how it's not hand holding in this and now all that you know hand holding or not hand holding that view is coming from a person that has game okay so we do not want to jump in water <laughs> that comes from a person that has played games their whole life if you're picking up a new game now or picking up a game new or just getting into gaming the concept of hand holding might be viewed a little bit differently maybe you like that extra little bit of knowledge because you do not have that I wouldn't say vast knowledge, but you don't have any knowledge of typical tropes or usual techniques or anything like that to build off of. You don't know that a certain collar means explosion or, you know, how a roll should work or, you know, whatever, what have you. And like I said, I believe in the last episode, the blocks that i thought would move i didn't think it needed to be marked out for me and that's something i come to realize that that's something i only know based on gaming that i've done my whole life so if you don't know gaming you haven't played games your whole life you're going to definitely view those little techniques or those little things differently than i will i'm kind of interested to see if this shield is going to block his water spout attack it does okay i just was curious i didn't know if it would or not and i was curious kind of curious as to 
exactly how that worked. It does look like we have a shallow and a deep water mechanic here, which is kind of cool. I like that. That makes it very interesting. I won't be able to go on that water until I find something different. A boat or raft or something like that. I want to see up here. I did see this other little place. That's going to be something that's going to be open probably at some point. This is probably, I'd have to guess, blocked off. And likewise, the one on the other side is because this is a demo and they don't want you to go so far. They only go, you know, they have, this area is not complete basically. And I kind of would give that a pass by here because we are in a demo and I understand that concept that you need to limit the people artificially sometimes. I wonder if that will blow up. Like be able, okay, that, that almost looks like I could blow up and it would end up being a hole in which I could probably use, but it doesn't seem to be the case. Also, I do not know if I could knock people down into the holes. There are some holes like here, if I fall into, I will take damage, but I don't know if there's any way that I, you can't obviously knock bats into holes, but I wonder if there's like one of the rats or some of the, another enemy in which I could knock in that hole so we're getting a lot of gems here at the beginning we don't seem to be limited in our gem count from the start which is good i like being able to just accumulate gems that makes it a lot less worrisome about oh should i pick this up one you know i i have always hated it when you you you're right at that max you don't realize it and you pick up you know 100 gems and you just wasted 99 gems because of you know you just weren't paying close enough attention and that's always been very frustrating to me i'm going to switch over to this spin ball technique and we're going to go up to this other dungeon hopefully oh oh out that hurt okay let's see if we can top up there we go there's the next dungeon and i think i want to switch back to bombs although i did see a bunch of arrows come up so that's going to make me think that a bow is very close in my future which i like definitely bow is a worthy weapon and if you ask me typically which i prefer i typically would prefer a long range weapon if done well and done effectively i really do prefer long long range weapons there we go boom, boom knock him out to be able to push that there we go push that up and we got ourselves a key which i would about it unlocks doors in this particular dungeon that's interesting wording there because that's going to imply to me that i can't pick up a small key in this dungeon and then for whatever reason use it in another dungeon so that's something that I don't know if that wording intended that or not, but that's what it sounds like to me. Oh, I just rolled right into that guy. That was not very effective or helpful, was it? Gotta watch out for that sword swing there. That arc is very important here. Let's, can I, can I, I, wanna, I wanna lift the pots up. Ooh, we got a church. I'm curious, can I roll over? I've tried that, but I'm not sure. Let's switch back over to here and I want to see, nope. You can't roll over that. So I wonder if there's a ladder that you get at some point because you would, oh, there's the map, sweet. I can look at the dungeon map now, which is also nice. So we got a ground floor, a uh, first floor and a second. So this dungeon is going to be, look like a lot larger than the previous dungeon. I feel that the first dungeon, while not bad, it was definitely a nice beginner dungeon, but this is definitely going to be a lot more larger dungeon yeah that's exactly what i expected to do which is cool and you know i think i knocked it on this the reading action but you know i i did that it's not you know it's nice to have those i think i'm going to retract my previous statement it's nice to have those because if you didn't know and you were having trouble you could read that i didn't need to i figured i saw those big blocks right beside the winds i figured it out it's not hurting me to be for it to be there and me not need it. 
but it would hurt somebody for them to need it and it not be there. So I'm, I'm, I think I took, I think I said in the last episode that I think those should be gone. I take that back. I really think those are beneficial. That is a nice way to do it so that the people that need them will get them and the people that don't need would just figure it out before the, you know, before they have to read it at all. Okay, so we're going to make these blocks come back. I typically have the rule of we check out all the doors before locked doors. And I'm gonna also extend that rule into I check out all the rooms before I go up or downstairs. So it's going to greatly, I don't say increase, that's not the right word I want. What the X is the map. Okay, so there is a, but we know that's there, a chest over here. So I don't wanna go up or down in a, in a, on the floors if I have another door I could explore. It just helps me keep the map in my head and know what needs to be done. So we're now on floor one, which is kind of cool. I'm ready for these little bunnies are awful cute. I almost don't want to kill them, but is a hopping enemy like, I know. I think it's a requirement. I think it's a requirement in all games to have some kind of hopping enemy that's going to be more difficult to hit. I'm curious, I know this is on the same floor, but having that on a different level is going to mess me up. It's gonna mean that there's gonna be a bridge or something that I'm gonna to have to deal with at some point, probably. Considering we're two levels down in this level, over, I bet you, over to the left, which I'm going to now, is going to be a bridge. Exactly, that's, that's very much what I expected to happen. Okay, so I wanna out, that is not the button, that is not the button I wanted to hit either. Wow, strike two there. Yeah, we got him, so we wanna go, Ip, yeah, there we go, now lift, lift, there we go. Oh, we got found another golden fairy, which I don't know what it does yet, but hey, we found another golden fairy. That's all, okay, those are both downstairs. We do not wanna go downstairs. Quite, wait, that should be in another area of the dungeon then. If I go downstairs here, that's gonna put me over there, almost in a dead end spot. I feel that I can go down there without being dramatic in what needs to be done. I am gonna to have to go down this set of stairs it looks like drop down here oh we got boots what are the winged boots what does that do i want to know you found the wing boots these boots enable you to make bigger jumps you can now easily jump over holes in the ground so i'm gonna say just oh nope <laughs> that didn't work that's told me i could do something there and it didn't work oh i'm i'm in the ground that's that is an interesting bug that we'll have to show off to the developer that i was actually in this layer that was under this so this is a layer what that tells me is that this bottom layer is a layer i guess and then the upper section of this floor is a layer on top of that so there is actually floor under this in the part of the game and it spawned me under that floor so what is so do i have to nope that's not what i want where's my roll button maybe it's the roll that i could roll no how do i do this then how do i jump that's interesting i can now from left to right red blue blue green only then will one obtain the special key. Okay, red, blue, blue, green. We're gonna have to remember what that means. And I'm at loss at what this jump means because I'm out of, oh, you know what it is? It's probably, there we go. So now, gotcha, okay. I figured, oh, I fell down that stupid hole again. Let's see if I could, there we go. Right, so now I could jump over holes here. There we go. I need, I definitely need to get some hearts here. 
we do not want to die our crystals life crystals or whatever, the, whatever they're calling them in this game is going to be incredibly important right now okay we still need to go up and around there and see what that gives me but we're gonna also try to come through here and see if there's any more hearts there we go we got another hearts i do like how those chests or the jars respawn and have things in them after i leave that's kind of helpful been very helpful as i learned how to manage my way through this game okay get that right. get, get the bunny kill the bunny there we go roll through here and see what we got we got a couple bats it looks like and a door that does not have a key which tells me that it's a kill all the enemies door so why so i'm gonna have to just like i'm i'm curious what's in those but i'm i'm afraid to try yeah there we go yeah look at that i figured it out yeah we can do this yo got it oh i was a little squirrely on getting that done but okay we, we we're getting it done which is good okay so have we done everything in the ground floor except for that one chest and we've done everything in floor one i kind of want to go back to that ground floor though i think that's going to probably take me up to well it's going to take me up to floor two probably yeah i kind of want to go back around but that might be the only way back up and it will almost be yeah i'm gonna go back and figure it out because it's gonna bother me if i don't know what that is i'm curious with that one chest you know what i'm not gonna worry about it i don't think it's necessary i did see when i was up here a little just a second ago that one of those bunnies jumped into the hole so that tells me that the bunnies or the enemies can fall there it goes because if so the enemies can fall in the hole oh so we're gonna have to get another key one and two we're gonna have to make that jump off in that right here let's see oh get the button yep there we go we got that button and we're gonna have to try to get that button oh those turn off all the fans well isn't that just peachy i love it we're gonna have to look can i push this up okay that's gonna break the fan but then we're gonna have to jump over here i like the winged boots and the jump concept that's a, that's a very interesting new ability oh there's my key and i was gonna say if there's a shortcut back but they're not really a shortcut wonder if i could jump over the can i jump nope nah that's not what i wanted to do okay let's get blown i wondered if i could jump over this wall and no we can't i tried to jump back over and then i failed it miserably so yeah that was a bad idea oh come on oh get the chest get the chest nope i need some hell i'm glad that that stayed though <laughs> the button stayed and that was very helpful i am appreciative of that there's my key door but i still got more to explore i feel because there was something up this way here as well another key to door but that looks like a different key that looks like a different key uh, the door looks differently so that's gonna mean i feel that's like a boss oh shoot a boss door and then i'm gonna have to get a boss key for it because that looks different than this door here which is, seems to be the normal sized door key or something. Eh. Bunnies! Kill the bunnies! Murder all the little cute oppie bunnies! <laughs> Where is. Oh, red, blue, blue, green? Red, blue. Do I have to hit it? What does this say? jump on the tiles to change their color the correct okay so he said red blue blue oh blue green there we go and that is the i like that that's kind of cool because you, if you weren't paying attention and saw that over there and read it you wouldn't know what that is i mean it's not well that would be what there's three colors 
and there is four of them that would be three to the fourth that's a lot of combinations to have to go through to figure that out and that's yeah you wouldn't want to sit there and have to do all that but i don't think it was hard to figure that out it was one of those little things that it gave you right at the beginning kind of as well so that's not a bad thing you just got to pay attention to those little pedestals and read them when necessary Let's see if we can get the boss done here really quickly i don't know what the boss i'm a little scared we got a bee coming at us oh that shoots something at us that's not good okay so there seems to be some kind of thickness there or depth because I was definitely hitting his head, but I must have been behind his head there for a second. I wonder if I'm taking a lot of damage here, I think. Eh. Or height to the B, I guess I should say. There we go. We took a little bit of, uh, shoot, I, maybe rolling. I need to roll to get around this guy or get away from him as he comes and attacks me. I was able to hit him quite a bit. Oh, nope, 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 nope. Okay, you're coming down now. Oh, crap. That's not good. We died. Yeah, let's retry. I want to tr try that over again. Do it again. Oh, start the whole dungeon over. Interesting. Not kind of what I expected, but I wonder if the boss is unlocked now. Let's see. Oh, well, I can go get this ch treasure chest now. Oh, gosh. I completely forgot about that. I would like to see that we... Uh, I don't wonder if I could jump over the wind. Nope, you can't jump over the wind. That's interesting thought. You know, I, I like that. I was just trying to kind of play with the mechanics there a little bit to see exactly what is possible here. Oh, there's the treasure chest that I wanted and I hit the wrong button, man. Oh no, the bunny go down the hole. Bunny go down the hole. I don't want the bunny to go down the hole. Okay, I'm ready. Jump! What do we get here? Oh, I got another fairy. I'm not sure what those golden fairies do, but I'm very curious to find out what it does. We shouldn't be too hard to figure out how to go back through here. I think I need to go. Here we go. Down this way. In cross this. And that led me into the bat room, the bat cave. And that will open us up to the stairs. I like that also that you started us back at the dungeon, but it really, in all honesty, it was not hard to get back down here to this level in which we could start fighting with the boss again. I probably would have rather started right out of the boss or like right outside the boss or restart the boss over again something simple like that but the design of the dungeon was in enough so that we really didn't have to worry about it okay so you're gonna be buzzing around you're gonna sh glow a little bit and so this rolls that gets me okay that attacks oh frig i am not doing very good here you watch out for that Roll right into the wall that really doesn't help you any if you're trying to hit the or get away from the guy I highly recommend not just roll, rolling right into the wall okay so we got away from him that time which is good ah, frig. I'm not gonna make this he comes at me when I'm not expecting him to and I gotta figure out the there's a delay there I think is what it is he stays there for like a few seconds and then comes and attacks you. Let's just go. We got to do this every time, which is a little annoying, but not too terribly bad. Go through there. And I will roll off into the oblivion. That's exactly what I wanted to do. Oh, we got to pick up that rupee there too. Ruby, it is a gem. I misspoke. They gave, do call it the gems. We almost have 300 gems already, which is kind of cool. I don't know what they're going to be used for yet. I wonder if it's better to keep on getting hit. 
as I go back through the dungeon. I wonder if bombs would be of use here because I don't know. I definitely would like to be just outside the dungeon or outside the boss at the end of these fights. I would find it a little tedious to go through the dungeon several times just to get to the boss. As I am having to do now. I want to try this and see. That's not what I want to do. There we go. And see if the bombs are going to be any use for me here. I have 10 of them, which is not a whole lot, but we could try. Maybe I could run around enough, stay away from him enough. Like if I put a bomb right there, I don't know how long it takes to blow up, but if he charges at me, there we go. That might hit him. There we go. It definitely hit him. Right into the wall again. I, oh, come on. I want to try to stay away from him and then hit him with bombs maybe, but he went the wrong way there. I'm back over this way. Shoot, I can't seem to plant these bombs in a good location. Yeah, that first one worked, but I don't think I'm getting any of the other ones here. I am not gonna beat this guy anytime soon. Can my shield stop that? I don't think it does. This guy is kind of tough. I wonder if there's something that I am missing here in my abilities. Would the jump help or the spin attack or something? The spin attack got me up here. Not the spin attack, this, the roll technique, I guess. See if we can get some more bombs. That first bomb was really the only one that helped me out. I guess I could try to pick them up and throw them. I'm not very optimistic with that. I mean, ah, shoot. Oh, yeah, I'm just gonna end up blowing myself up, probably. That's, that's the way I see it happening is me just blowing myself up with them. And that's really not what I want to do. I'm not doing very good. I'm really happy that there are a bunch of chests out here and I need to find a good way, a good way. That is not at all what I meant to do either. We're going to just dive right here. That's not a good thing. We're going to wait. Good thing I waited for that too. Because I would have jumped and then got blown up and then fell in the hole. That's not what you want to happen. Kill the bunnies. Or run past the bunnies. Get away from the bunnies. Hopefully they'll give me enough. There we go. I got enough of those, which is good. Gave me all kinds of them. I think they were all filled up here. I wonder if... Trying to watch his attack pattern a little bit and see if I can figure something out here. He pauses for a second and then kind of seems to charge at me sometimes. Now, no, he's going to charge now. Is he going to? The problem is sometimes he lands and then immediately start trying to charge me. Man. And I'm not sure or do does that. Come on, I don't have a hit on him yet. That's not really what I was hoping for. Ah, I don't, uh, uh, die! Can I just beat him to death? Like, can I out hit him? I don't know if that's probably not the best way to do this. I wish I can figure out the best way to, he seems, is he gonna land? Nope. He needs to come down before I can hit him. There we go. We got a couple hits on him there. I'm just trying to watch his pattern a little bit so I know what's going on. Okay, got another hit there. But I've almost got to stay semi close to him or I can't, I don't have time to get to him before he starts moving again. Oh, I can knock him back. So theoretically, 
if he charges me, I could swipe him enough to keep him off of me. There we go. Yes, we got him that time. Sweet. Pick up another life. Aggregate? Crystal? I forget. Unit of life. Maximum health will be increased. Sweet. And we got another spirit orb. Two of the three that we need to pick up before we go to the next section of the game. Collect all three of them to open the portal to the flip world. And that is going to be our episode for today we're back outside of the castle and i am very excited to uh, check out the uh, next castle here very shortly i need my little spinner ball again so that we can get back down to the uh, ground there we go and i will see you all in the next episode as we continue to check out the demo of arkin which proves to be very fun and very interesting in the mechanics that they have de decided to develop which i am enjoying i think they've been doing very good in their mechanics so far and their impl implementation of them so i will see you in the next episode as we take on the third and i believe final dungeon of the demo thank you all for watching and i will see you next time bye everybody